Okay, so today we'll be talking about a granulosa cell tumor. And what this is, is essentially a sex cord stromal tumor. What is a sex cord stromal tumor? It just means that when you have an ovary, the main cells you have there are your theca cell and your granulosa cell, right? And the theca cell inside your ovary, um, which forms the oocyst, the theca cell responds to a luteinizing hormone coming from your anterior pituitary, uh, which causes androgens to be made in the theca cell. When the androgens are made, they're passed into the secondary granulosa cell, which forms estrogen, specifically estradiol. And this makes many things happen, just releasing the egg and everything and um, the good stuff. However, if you have a cancer, a tumor of your granulosa cells, the cells that secrete estrogen, of course, you're going to have a lot of um, cells, these granulosa cells, in your ovary, which are going to crowd up your ovary and, of course, form a mass. But, of course, since they are granulosa cells, you are going to be having an increase in what their function is if you have just more of them. So you're going to have an increase in estrogen. So this is where you can think about what sort of things are going to happen in a granulosa cell. So the way a person is going to present is really dependent on what age they are. If they are, say, uh, premenopausal and they're just young kids, they're going to present with an early menarche, right? Early puberty. And why? Because if you have an uh, increase in estrogen, you're going to release the egg more, and that's what causes uh, puberty to happen, correct? Now, if you are middle-aged, which this usually does present, you're going to have um, uh, uterine bleeding. Why? Because estrogen essentially causes um, a thickening of your endometrium. Why does it do that? It's because estrogen is increased in ovulation when you are um, about to get pregnant. So you want to make sure that your uh, uterus is very thick. But if you have a cancer of your granulosa cells increasing estrogen, you are going to thicken it to the point where it may rupture. And of course, if it ruptures, you're going to have uterine bleeding. Now, in postmenopausal women who aren't used making estrogen, if you have an excess amount of irregular estrogen now because of granulosa cell tumors, you are again going to present with bleeding, which you should not have after you stop having your periods. So an abnormality in postmenopausal women would probably be uterine bleeding. Now, the way you want to look at this is, of course, a biopsy since it is cancer. Excisional biopsy is the gold standard. And another thing you want to look for are these things called call exner bodies. So there's no true pathogenesis about this, but essentially it's the granulosa cells because they're so high in proliferation. They're going to surround um, central lumen, so you're going to get these fluid pocket-like looking things, the granulosa cells around this lighter um, staining pink on the H&E stains. Um, but another thing you do want to make sure you know about granulosa cells in particular is the fact that the tumor marker specific for them is inhibit. So if you ever see that on a test question, it's going to be inhibit. That is the tumor marker for granulosa cells. Now, um, since it is a cancer in the ovary, you can think um, it is going to metastasize eventually since this is quite malignant. So the first place it's going to metastasize is its own lymph node. Ovary lymph node we know are the lumbar lymph nodes, also known as the paraiotic. And the other lymph nodes it can um, metastasize to are the iliac. However, it can also do hematogenous spread, which is spread through the blood. And this just means it's going to spread through a bunch of things. The liver, lung, bone, kidney, um, and brain are the main things that you want to know. Another thing that can happen is you can have torsion of your ovaries. So this could present as a tugging pain, but that's not too important for granulosa cells. So again, in the end, you do want to know a few things. Call exner bodies are found in granulosa cells. Granulosa cells secrete estrogen, so you're going to have pathology or symptomology with increased estrogen. So uterine bleeding or an early menarche or uh, puberty in girls. And the last thing you want to know is that this true tumor marker for this granulosa cell tumor is called inhibit.